There was a lot of Brock Purdy slander this week, and if you follow this channel, you're all the way caught up to speed, but I do think it's important to also showcase and highlight the opinions of former players who think the exact opposite and actually call out the slander and just ask genuine questions about, like, what are you watching? Why do you feel that way? And, and really trying to quantify it. And we get to hear from RG3, a quarterback who actually played in the Kyle Shanahan system, understands what it what it takes to be an effective quarterback in that scheme. And Brandon Marshall, a former wide receiver. So we get to hear two former offensive guys talk about their takes on Brock Purdy. And they don't understand it just like the rest of us. Take a listen right here. It's a great conversation that RG3 has with Brandon Marshall right here. Jared Goff's the first pick in the draft. Brock Purdy's the last pick in the draft. And both of them are getting the same treatment, right? Purdy's got Debo, CMC, Kittle, IU, Juszczyk, Trent Williams, uh, all these different guys. And he's still getting that same, what's his superpower? But I, I believe that Brock Purdy is not a game manager. I believe he's a game changer. And that last drive of the game, when he had to make the throws and he had to make the runs in the scramble drill to lead them to a victory, he did it. Those were game-changing plays. What's your take on Brock Purdy in this discussion about him not being uh, – he's not, he's not a good quarterback or he's just benefiting from the guys around him? I, I agree with you, bro. And, and It may be like even like a Russell Wilson type situation as well where mm. Russell had dope defense and then he had a, a beautiful running back at Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, right. And then he had play, like and then it was Pete Carroll. Right. But let's not forget, bro, like this is the most winningest quarterback through 10 years. And we talk about making the biggest plays, one of the most clutch quarterbacks the game has ever seen. 100%. But you can you can you can lose. You can lose the net. You can you can you can create a, a, a bad narrative around a Russell Wilson <laughs> because of who he's surrounded with. So it's Brock Correct. Purdy as well. Correct. It's the same thing. Great coach. You got like some great playmakers. You got this legendary defense. But. If you go back to the first game that he took over when Jimmy Garoppolo went down, he didn't miss a beat. Didn't miss a beat. The moment wasn't too big for him. He gets up to the right. He throws a touchdown. And then he jumps in the air and he goes, ah. <laughs> and then he looks and he does something with his hands. And I said, right. yo, he has the moxie. He has the flair. And that's I when understand. I knew. I was like, this kid is for real. And then he goes six games in a row and he's making big right. plays. Right. So from day one, because we were having this conversation, I was having this conversation with like uh, Ray Lewis, um, uh, Phil Sims, and okay. Michael Irvin. I was like, no, this dude is the real deal. That's all I needed to see was those six first six games. Yep. So I believe he's a game changer for there real. You go. Like, do his next level. Yeah. So sometimes we have these conversations and they we start pitting quarterbacks against each other, right? So my colleague Ryan Clark says, uh, how is Brock Purdy going to beat these other guys? How is he going to beat a guy like Lamar Jackson or a guy like Patrick Mahomes or even Jared Goff? He doesn't believe that he's even at that level. What do you think about that when it's really about a team effort? Like teams win the Super Bowl. Teams yeah. win championship games. Not just the quarterback. The quarterback's a big part of that, but it's yeah. a team effort. What's your take on that? Literally just start. Just talked about that earlier on 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 our, on our show, and okay. um, I was shocked that that came from Ryan because Ryan, you got to think about like Ryan is uh, has ex extremely high uh, football IQ, right? And he's been on some really good teams. So you can look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's been Roethlisberger, been Roethlisberger without you know that defense that they had. Is the defense able to play the way they play if? You know, they didn't have the running game that they had or a Ben Roethlisberger being able to do Ben Roethlisberger things. Correct. And so Brock Purdy, like we can't, you know, we can't knock Brock Purdy because he's actually in a situation that we, if we're a general manager, hey, coach, that's our job is to surround our guys with Come on. guys. Thank you. Thank so it's you. not Brock Purdy. It's not Brock Purdy versus them. It's Brock Purdy has a team around him and it's, can they play complimentary football to beat Lamar Jackson and the Ravens and the Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs? Yep. No, I, I'm 100% with you on that. And why uh, do we do that? And that's the other thing. And this is not, <laughs> this, you know, not even talking about Ryan anymore, but it's interesting that we do that, bro, where it's like, oh, but that guy got this guy, that guy, et cetera. Isn't that the general manager doing his job? Yeah, he's doing his job. 
Why, like you don't get no like why do we, why do we rate guys differently because they got guys Tom Brady the, the, the thing is we think Tom Brady didn't have guys Tom Brady was surrounded by guys he had dudes both sides of the ball he had dudes so I'm with you on that I, I don't think I, I call it little dong energy like when you talk about guys that are upset about Brock Purdy listen we celebrate these stories in sports all the time he was Mister Irrelevant like undersized. Not the Bro. strongest arm, not the fastest guy in the world, although he is mobile and athletic. We celebrate those stories. Why are we tearing down Brock Purdy? Because he's in a situation that quarterbacks dream of being in. That's right. I'm, That's I'm right. not going to tear him down for that. I would love to throw to those dudes. That's I'm right. happy That's for right. him. I'm not going to knock him for that. And mm -hmm. the discussion doesn't have to be around who's better, this, that, or the other. Yes. Are you taking Brock Purdy over Patrick Mahomes? No. Are you taking Brock Purdy over uh, Lamar Jackson? No. But that doesn't mean that they can't win the Super Bowl as a team. That's and right. That's the bottom right. line is they've been in four uh, NFC Championship games in the last five years. What do you think needs to happen? Well, what's for so what's the question? Let's, the question yeah, is, yeah, tell yeah. me. Um, so we, we talked about superpower. Yep. Uh, Jared Goff's superpower, and I do agree with you, his superpower is that, right? Like he can yep. run the offense at extremely high level, make great decisions. So Correct. now the, the other end of that for Brock Purdy, it's what's his weakness? So so <laughs> I need everybody out there talking about Brock Purdy to tell me, say, okay, well, this is his weakness. Don't tell me his weakness is that he has great guys. No, talk to me about the quarterback position. Does, does Is he smart? Yep. Can he throw the ball? Is he efficient? Yep. Is he accurate? Yes. Right. Like you, you got to tell me, does he turn the ball over? Like, nope. what's the weakness? Uh, I'm with you. I'm with <laughs> you. They'll say, hey, he doesn't have the strongest arm in the world. It's like, but you don't need that. If you watch that touch, touch pass he threw on the dagger concept, which is a staple of a Shanahan offense, that is a skill. And he did it in the rain when he was having a bad game. So when you so I agree when you say what's his weakness, even if you told me what's his superpower. I believe Brock Purdy's superpower isn't about what he does better than the rest of the guys. It's about what he does better than Jimmy Garoppolo, mm. because that's why they needed him. Jimmy didn't give them the off schedule plays. He didn't give them the clutch throws at the end of the game, like the one to Emmanuel Sanders uh, in the Super Bowl. Brock Purdy makes that throw, in my opinion. Right, right, right. And right, he right. proved that in this last game when all He's the chips smooth, were on the table, man. he made the throws. He's so, smooth, bro. I, I, man, I love his game. I think there are multiple points that they hit on, and I really like the Russell Wilson comparison based on the team structure around Russell Wilson when he went to the Super Bowl with the Seattle Seahawks, had an absolutely phenomenal defense. I mean, they had the Legion of Boom. They had Marshawn Lynch. I mean, that guy was unstoppable at the time. Um, Doug Baldwin, Lockett, like they had good wide receivers as well. So I really like that comparison because obviously – when you look at Russell Wilson, undersized, uh, and, and it's funny because Brock actually compares part of his game to Russell Wilson. Um, so I, I really like that comparison. I think, I think it makes a lot of sense. And, you know, I like also, too, what Brandon Marshall had to say about Ryan Clark and just being like, what are we doing, man? Like, you're a smart guy. You've played football. You've been on teams, good teams, and, and you understand what it takes. So... Just the ongoing conversation back and forth. I, I just really felt like you listen to RG3. He considers Brock Purdy a game changer. They're obviously both looking at that game winning drive and they're like, this is what it's all about. And it's almost even more impressive leading a game winning drive after having honestly a not good game prior to that. And that's what it takes to be a good quarterback. That's what it takes to be a good player in the NFL is being able to withstand adversity, being able to make mistakes and keep pushing, keep fighting and overcoming them and ultimately putting your team ahead in the end. Like that's the that's what we're all trying to do here. Like that's the goal. And he's getting knocked for it. And again, uh, it, it, we we all and just like RG3 said, we love the underdog story, except with Brock Purdy. Why is that? Why why don't we like Brock Purdy? Well, what's the problem with Brock Purdy? I bet you guys have some answers, and I want to hear from you in the comments below. But again, when you listen to these guys talk about them, when you listen to them, it, there, there's no hot takes here. It's just nuanced football conversation. And when you have two former pros 
and they get on a mic together and they get to have conversations about these. Like these are the conversations that I think are worth listening to. Like obviously when you're on these big platforms, you got to be hot takey. You got to be somewhat controversial to be able to stir up, um, you know, the conversation around your opinions or else really what are you doing? Because that's their number one goal is engagement numbers, et cetera, et cetera. And by any means necessary, when you listen to guys like this, man, they're just talking ball. And that's why I love being able to have the access to player podcasts and things like this, because we get some guys with real life experience, a quarterback, a wide receiver, a guy who's played for Kyle Shanahan, and they get to, they can piece this together. Um, and just really give thoughtful opinions on. And again, we don't have to agree with everything that was said, good or bad, about Brock Purdy. But what you can appreciate about these two is that they just have a good quality conversation about football and about Brock. And that's all you can ask for in this current climate of, oh, we we get it. We, we can take down, we can get clicks by calling Brock Purdy the weak link. That's really easy to do. But, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys thought about this. I will link the entire interview between RG3 and Brandon Marshall in the description below. So go click it if you want to listen to the whole conversation. But I felt like this was worth sharing. Let me know what you guys think about it. Drop it in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.